hello guys in today's video i'm going to solve some problems from <coughs> periodic classification of elements <coughs> the first question is in halogen group halogen group means uh, group 13 group 17 okay group 17 right okay uh, in group 17 fluorine chlorine bromine iodine is there so which tendency works with increasing atomic number so this is increasing atomic number so we need to choose the correct option okay so ionic size decreases as we move down a group ionic size increases so this is the wrong answer tendency to lose electron decreases uh, actually uh, the, in down a group since the size increases tendency to lose electron increases so this is also wrong ionizing energy decreases <coughs> uh, ionizing energy is inversely proportional to ionic size or size okay so higher is the size <coughs> lesser will be the ionizing energy so down group and uh, size increases so ionizing energy will decrease so this is the correct answer let me explain the um, fourth option also in mx2 <coughs> where m is a metal <coughs> and x is the halogen covalent character decreases so since the formula is mx2 so we need to take a divalent um, metal okay so divalent metal is calcium for example this is calcium fluoride okay then calcium chloride then calcium bromide and calcium iodide like this okay so <clears throat> down a group electronegativity of the halogen decreases most electronegative is fluorine and the uh, least electronegative halogen is iodine so uh, we know that calcium has very less electronegativity so difference in electronegativity of the two bonded atoms difference in electronegativity of the two bonded atom a b is <coughs> inversely proportional to covalent character so higher is the mm, lesser is the lesser is the difference between the electronegativities higher will be the covalent character so covalent character for this metal for this metal halide covalent character will be uh, dec will decrease covalent character will increase because uh, say this let me explain in another way this is uh, magnesium and this is for example iodine and this will be bromine and this will be chlorine and this is fluorine right so <clears throat> okay this is what fluorine this is chlorine this is bromine this is iodine and this is our calcium for example okay in case of calcium iodide difference is least difference in electronegativity is least and in case of calcium fluoride the difference is large so the, the um, less difference in the electronegativity of the two bonded atoms higher the covalent character will be okay so calcium iodide will have the highest covalent character and the calcium fluoride will have the least covalent character so covalent character increases down the group but it is written here decreases so this is not the correct answer right okay let me go to the second question <clears throat> the second question is the screening effect of d electrons is equal to p electrons much more than p electrons equal to p electrons this is wrong much more than p electrons is also wrong uh, same as f electrons this is also wrong less than p electron this is the correct option actually actually so <clears throat> uh, let me explain this for any given n for any given n n s n p n d and n f uh, the increasing order this is for f for example <clears throat> the increasing order of energy is <coughs> like this <clears throat> so more is the energy more is the energy uh, we can say uh, more will be distance from the nucleus so uh, for f and uh, 
4D means D and the F subshell will be more diffused means they will be uh, means uh, they will be uh, farther 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 than the nucleus but S and the P <coughs> they are uh, means they have uh, less energy means they are closer to the nucleus so um, d and the p since 4d is higher energy has higher energy than 4p uh, screening effect of d will be lesser than that of p so this is the correct answer right and uh, same as f electrons uh, f f electrons will have actually lesser uh, screening effect than 4d so this cannot be the uh, answer also right so the correct op answer uh, for the question is d <clears throat> okay let me go to the third question <clears throat> two different beakers contain m1 oh and the m2 oh solutions separately for the nature of the two solutions if the electronegativity of m1 is 3.4 and uh, M2 is 1.2, oxygen has an electronegativity of 3.5 and hydrogen has 2.1. So we need to tell the um, nature of the solution for these two <coughs> substances. Uh, here <coughs> M1OH and M2OH. So its electronegativity is given as 3.4 and its electronegativity is given as what 1.2 so uh, higher electronegativity means m2 is a non-metal this is a non-metal right this is a non-metal and the lesser electronegativity of m2 implies that m2 is a metal so this is a metal hydroxide metal hydroxide for example sodium hydroxide like this is a metal hydroxide metal hydroxide means metal hydroxide means what they will have basic character so m2 will be basic while m1 has high electronegativity means this is a non-metal and a hydroxide of non-metal is acidic in nature this will be acidic in nature this will be what basic in nature right <clears throat> for example uh, let me give one example of such solution just i'm um, uh, giving 3.4 right 3.4 means we can just uh, give the example of nitric acid in which and like this I'm just giving the example okay this OH is attached to N and has a high, higher electronegativity so this bone will not be broken instead this bone will be broken this <clears throat> this is the structure of n h n o 3 okay so this bone will not be broken instead of this bone this bone will be broken so uh, the solution of this m1 oh or nitric acid will give s plus ion instead of giving out oh minus ion but in this case since there is a more electronegativity difference between m2 and the o this bone is very very polar so when it is dissolved in water this bone will be broken which means this will produce oh minus ion so the solution which produce oh minus ion in aqueous solution this will be basic in nature and the solution <coughs> uh, the solution which produces h plus ion will be acidic in nature okay since this I am um, just leaving this point uh, this of HNO3 I am just uh, I can just explain here also since this M1 has a higher electronegativity of 3.4 and the oxygen also has 3.5 um, <clears throat> of electronegativity so uh, the electronegativity differences between this M one and the o is very less means this bone is not polar this is non-polar right so since this bone is non-polar this bone will not be broken when dissolved in water instead this 
bond will be broken because oxygen has an electronegativity of 3.5 and the hydrogen has an electronegativity of 2.1 so uh, more difference in electronegativity is observed in this bond so instead of breaking this bond OH bond will be broken so H plus ion will be produced from this solution so this will be acidic in nature so <clears throat> M1 will be acidic but this is also acidic this is wrong m1 will be acidic and the m2 is basic so the correct option for this question is d right okay let me go to the fourth question find the successive elements of the periodic table with ionization energies 3 2 7 2 5 2 0 8 9 0 kilojoule per mole respectively so we need to choose ionization energy we need to choose the element having this ionization energy respectively right so from these values it is very clear that the first value has a very very high ionization energy which means this must have a you can say uh, very stable electronic configuration so lithium cannot have this much uh, higher electron uh, sorry ionization energy hydrogen cannot have this ionization energy and boron can also not have this ionization energy so helium helium is a noble gas element like right noble gases have very high electron uh, ionization energy so uh, this can be the ionization energy of helium next lithium uh, lithium is the first member in a period so its size is very large in comparison to the other elements in the same period so this will have less ionization energy and the ionization energy from left to right ionization energy increases so lithium will have lesser ionization energy than beryllium right so this is the correct option the first one which is very high ionization energy is of helium and then comes what lithium which is having less ionization energy and then beryllium has to have you know uh, higher energy and uh, higher ionization energy than that of lithium so uh, 890 is greater than 520 so the correct option which suits these three values is the option right so let me go to the uh, last question <coughs> which is uh, an element having the electronic configuration of its atom ns2 np2 so its general electronic configuration is ns2 and np2 so valence electron number of valence electron is what four so we need to choose the element among this uh, four having four valence electrons because those elements having same number of valence electron will they will have similar properties so let me write of sodium sodium has an electronic configuration of what 11 1 s2 2 s2 2 p6 and then 3 s1 so this is they are not same and the carbon oh sorry this is carbon this is carbon 6 1 s2 2 s2 and 2 p2 so this is the element which we need to choose because in case of carbon uh, number of valence electron is four let me check other option also magnesium magnesium has uh, means how many valence electron i think two right uh, this is neon and after neon three s2 so number of valence electron is two only and in case of oxygen having uh, atomic number of eight this is one s2 two s2 two p what four so number of valence electron is what six so the correct option is carbon which is the second option right so the concept here is the elements having uh, same number of valence electron will will possess similar properties so uh, the element carbon has this electronic configuration so that element will have similar properties with carbon thank you for today please like and share this video with your friends and uh, if you are new to the channel please subscribe 
to my channel please subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubts and if you want me to make any video on any particular topic in chemistry please comment in the comment box and i'll definitely definitely make a video on that particular topic thank you for today